Hello everybody, thank you for joining me today. I will show you how I make parallax room. I will be using Kitops parallax and some assets from 3D Shaker, especially two collections, furnishing and decoration. So let's go, let's start. Let's go to Kitops parallax, load parallax template file, and straightforward, let's save it. Living room zero. So first thing, let's resize the room for the X 3 meters, for the Y 3, for the Z 2.75. First thing I want to mention, I want to suggest you to use less rough materials for the front room and more rough materials from the back, back room and don't use the same materials for front and back room. It will cause some shading issues, you know, we want to make it look beautiful, we want to make it look high quality. So we need to think about it. Sure, so for front walls, I will use basic blender material. Let's make it dark gray and I'll make roughness 0.8. For the back, back walls, I will use, let's think, make it, no, let's make it gray. Okay. Yeah. For the ceiling, also gray. And for the front ceiling, just wait with the roughness 0.8. For the floor, I will use TV Cycles K-Tops materials. This one. So let's add material and same material for the back. But for the first room material, make it unique data and let's make roughness. Oh, a bit different. Now let's add doors. I will add doors from Kitops pack. I think this pack comes when you download the Kitops. Make it on the left side. And let's put here. Yes. That's good. Make it a bit from the left. Let's go to asset browser. As I said, I'll use some assets from 3D Shaker decorations. These are amazing assets. I use them my parallax rooms or architecture visualizations very high quality assets let's find hmm, something like this let's rotate it and let's put it here good very good yeah scale it a bit now let's make the base uh, baseboard. This pie menu is meshing tools. I use them. I use it. Makes my workflow much faster. So let's go to edit mode. Let's select these edges. Shift D, B, separate selection. Let's select the edges. Remove solidify. Let's go to edit mode, extrude, GZ, select all with A, hold E, extrude faces along normals. And let's remove some materials. And for the back room, let's select, well, let's make it a bit 
bigger and let's select all the edges. Shift D, B to separate selection. Let's select it. Remove solidify. Now let's convert to curve. Let's move this vertex here and let's add one more vertex here. Let's delete this edge. Oh, okay, you can do that. Oh no, you can't. Let's delete the segment. Now let's go to curve data, geometry, profile, and let's select cornice molding. And let's add some depth. Good. Very good. The easiest baseboard ever. So now let's add the furniture. Let's start with a sofa, I think. Next sofa. Hmm. I think I want to use this one. BMB Italy. Okay. I think I need some Helping here, I think. Decorations, living areas. Let's find. Yeah. Any. This one will go well. What happened? Okay. Hmm. Add it to the wall. Okay, looks good. I think looks good. I would change the material for the object. So the yeah, let's change it. Let's make it white. What is it like white sofas? Mm. I mean, okay, so now let's add the table. Maybe this one. No, 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 no. We need coffee table. This one. Yeah. This. And let's put some decorations on it. So let's find something interesting. Some AirPods. Yes. Yes. Uh, Apple Pro. Yes, for sure. Uh, rotate it. Hmm. Owner of this room is an Apple fan for sure, so well <laughs> I said it with the iPhone. Ah damn Bruno. Okay, so I think living room looks good. Ah let's add the wall switch from the kit apps. And let's add the wall switch here too. Okay, good, 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 good. Now let's furnish the front room. I want to add some chair, maybe. This one. Let's make it. Let's make it white. Let's duplicate it. Yeah. So this more at front, this one somewhere in the middle. Let's put some table two. 
this one. Really? Yes. And let's put some decorations for a front room. This one here, flush set for the table. The chromatic and some books. Wanna? I want. I want some books. I love books. Books always look good. Always. Yes. Please. Oh. Very cool. And I need something for a wall. Let's take this clock. Scale it. Yes. Oh. Maybe some painting here. Let's search paint. This one. Okay, we need some curtains. I'll use interior models curtains. So this one, I think it fits perfect, perfectly. We need some lighting. So for lighting, I'll use lamp from Baker. This one. Yes. And I will use the array modifier. Make three of them. Okay. Furnishing is done. Looks good. Now, we need, we need to set collections for the objects. This is very important. This is very important. So, there is actually very good documentation about GitHub's Parallax. How you need to put all objects to which collection. Link, I, will, I, I will leave link in the description. So for this documentation. So let's select it all. Let's deselect main rooms. And let's put all of this in the room collection. One more important thing. In these main collections, you can't put more collections. Only object. Only object. Now, curtains, let's put in sprite front. This aroma, books, table, and this armchair at the front. Let's put it in the sprite one. Second chair, let's put in sprite two. This teddy bear, let's put in the sprite three. Good. And let's scale it on Y. So, when you scale it on a grid for the parallax effect, it renders much better. And actually done. Okay, let's let's add the lighting. Light area area. Sorry. Okay, let's scale it. Let's duplicate it.
and let's put it in the room collection. Now let's go to Kitops Parallax. Parent all objects. Now let's check set room scale for the render. Yeah, looks good. Now let's check the lighting. I think for the day room bright, let's make it one one. One and five. One. Yeah, let's make it one. And one and five for the back. Good. Now let's go to temp folder and run it all. Let's create the cross map. Here it is, the parallax room. I think it looks good. Now you can edit. Want move object. Let's rename the parallax plane drill. And let's an insert. Tools, create insert. To make inserts, you need GitOps. GitOps Pro. So now let's try to make the night version. So for the night version, we need to change strength of the light of environment. Let's make it 0.25. Now let's add the lights here. So let's basic point, basic point light, make it two watts, maybe four. And let's duplicate it with all D. Yes. Make it what? Place to a room and let's change strength of these two lights. Four and for the back one, five, three, six for the front, five for the back. Yes. Now, let's render it again. Let's create a cross map and create material. So there is one little problem. We need to actually copy the path of the new cross map. Yes, that's how it looks. I think it looks good. So. So now we have two new rooms. Check it. Look. We have two rooms. Two parallax room. The night version, day version. I think looks good. Thank you, 3D Shaker, for assets, and thank you for KitOps Parallax. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. See ya.